Play Pals. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new to our channel, click that red subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos. Now, I am sorry I've been away for a little while. There's been lots going on with COVID-19 and everything going on in the world. As you can imagine, uh, my household is bananas with the kids at home and homeschooling right now. So there's a lot going on. So I haven't been able to upload any videos, but I have been active on Instagram doing different styles and looks for my LOL Surprise OMG dolls and some of my other dolls. So you guys be sure to follow me on Instagram. What I thought I would do today is show you something a little different so that you could get a chance to see some of the different looks that I've created for my dolls. In a previous video, I did an unboxing of the LOL Surprise Amazing Surprise where I, up, um, I unboxed Uptown Girl and Downtown BB. And now they have them in separate their own little you can buy them individually now which is really cool and from what i understand they actually come with different purses than you get in the actual original ones that came in the amazing surprise so i got uptown girl the box was a little tattered at the store but i'm okay with it because that was the only one that they had and i want to be able to unbox her so i'm going to do her in a future video so we get a chance to take a look at uptown girl but what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at some of my dolls that i have right now i have 12 of them i'm going to show you the different looks that i created for them now just so you know lol surprise omg dolls they come with their standard little packages their clothes but what i like to do is once you have a lot of the dolls you can mix and match with their outfits but for me that wasn't enough i wanted even more stuff so what i did was i went online to uh websites like macari and ebay and i actually purchased lots of clothes lots uh, like a lot in in a, in a lot normally it means like it's just a bunch of different things together that you can get instead of buying a onesie twosie and I was able to get accessories I was able to get clothes and some of the dolls that I actually targeted was things like um, the Monster High dolls the Monster uh, Ever After High uh, I also got um, some brat stuff um, some of my own things that I had was from like Foxy Girls. Even some of the Barbie things will fit. I purchased some Creatable World, which is um, like the new series that Mattel, I think it's made by Mattel, that they have. I don't have any of the dolls, but I use some of their um, particular items. Now, I will caution you that if you go and purchase some of this stuff, it may not fit the OMG dolls to a T. Uh, it really depends. It's kind of hit or miss. Um, like some Barbie things fit perfect some are too big some are too small and the same thing with the other uh, different series but I really really like the Monster High um, Ever After High series because those series actually have kind of some really cool looks and things that I think look go great with your OMG dolls so this first one that I want to show you guys is Snowlicious and Snowlicious I think looks fabulous with her uh, braids and stuff I actually have another Snowlicious where I actually took her hair down and it's kind of wavy and stuff like that and I sometimes I curl it um, but this one I really liked the way her hair looked and I wanted to keep it that way um she actually has on um Royal Bee's kind of a little uh, leotard kind of top thing um she has that on this is Uptown Girl skirt and her little belt and stuff and Uptown Girl shoes but I thought it looked great with her and this is actually from one of my Snapstar dolls and her little jacket I put it on upside down to give it like a little flare collar look so I think that look is cute with her okay so this is angles guys and I think she is really really cute I love all the pops of color and stuff like that that she has with her lips so her earrings that she has and look at her little eyeshadow right there and her bangs and stuff but I wanted to give her a different kind of style so this little jacket I purchased online in one of the little packages of accessories that I got so that's her look and her shoes right there I think those are um, some Monster High shoes or something like that. But I think her little outfit looks cute. And this is Groovy Babe. And I will admit that at first when I got Groovy Babe, I wasn't totally excited about her. I thought she looked a little dull with all the black and white and stuff. But um, more little things that I did with her gave her a little top and a cute little skirt and this shoes that I got right here and I thought that they kind of made her eyeshadow pop as well and I changed her hairstyle did a little braid and put it up for her so she is cute now I want to let you guys know unfortunately I took the package off so I can't tell you the brand but these are some rubber bands uh oh I just dropped a bunch of them um, rubber bands that I actually got from 
Walmart. And I love these rubber bands because they come in so many different colors and stuff, and they're great for styling your doll's hair. Um, they're really, really stretchy. Um, but if you have like red hair, yellow hair, blue hair, um, there's so many different colors. So you can sometimes you can camouflage what's going on. So this right here, you may not even recognize her, is Lady Diva, and I did like a little braid for her. And sometimes I kind of curl it this way and give it a different look. Her little outfit is superb. These are actually Royal Bees pants, and I kind of bunched them up a little bit um, and gave her these gold shoes that I think came from like Monster High or something like that. And the belt as well, I think, came from one of my lots. And the actual uh, top as well with the little peekaboo on the side. She's got a Swag's earrings and Royal Bee's necklace to top that look off. But I thought she looked really cute. So our next girl that we have right here, she looks fantastic, guys. This right here is Busy BB. You probably can't even recognize her. I did her a little updo with, um, a, I took a couple of braids and kind of pulled it up out of her face and I actually hit her bangs. So that was cool. And this little top right here I got from Haunt, um, Haunt uh, Couture um, online. Uh, she has uh, an Instagram account. So you could probably go on Instagram to find her. And look at the skirt, guys. I love the skirt. This is Lady Diva's skirt, I believe. If my memory serves me correctly. And look at these shoes. I tell you, I like <laughs> more shoes, please. So I've been getting lots and lots of shoes and stuff with these little packages that I got online. So this right here is Neonlicious, guys. And Neonlicious is one of my favorite. I think her face is so pretty. I love the little stars and everything. And I just, you know, did some accessories with her. I believe this skirt, it either came from Barbie or Creatable World. I cannot remember, but it fits her pretty good. And the top is actually um, Haunt Couture as well, but I kind of turned down the collar. It, the collar actually goes up higher. It's kind of a bodysuit, um, but I thought it looked cute with this little outfit. So anyway, that's her look right there. And these shoes are cute, cute, cute. Love them, love them, love them. I tell you, I got lucky with getting uh, <laughs> some of these because they do fit the dolls pretty well. So. That is that look. Now Royal Bee, I really love her and that's probably why I have three of her because her hair, so, I like manipulating her hair. I actually did her hair kind of like in a twist out afro in one of my um, dolls. Um, this is a second one that I have and I kind of just pulled them in puffs to the side. It still has her little like a uh, I don't know what you call these at the top, but she still has these little like buns, little mini buns or knots in the top. And I took a little like, um, I think this might have been a necklace or something and I put it there to give her that look, which I thought was cute. And look at her necklace right there. This is Uptown Girl's little like boy shorts or whatever. So she's got that on. And I gave her some little kind of socks underneath to make the pop of red with her jacket. And I thought that looked good. And then her boots look totally nice. Love the boots and the little socks right here in that pop of color. So that is Royal B. Now Dolly, I know you guys remember Dolly. She looks so cute, but I totally changed her hair, kind of fluffed it up and made it kind of wild a little bit and I gave her a little top. This is a little monster high top and her skirt is actually Haunt Couture and it is a great skirt for me to be able to mix and match with other things and I gave her these boots. They got a pop of red at the bottom but I thought they were cute still. I love the little peekaboo toe and all the laces all the way up to her knees, so that is cute. Okay guys, so this is one of my favorite of the OMG Lights dolls. The this She is fantastic. This is Dazzle, guys, and I actually have two Dazzles uh, because Dazzle's hair actually comes a little different. I took it down, did it a little braid, like a little goddess braid in the front a little bit. Sometimes I pull it back and do stuff to kind of style her or I leave her like this. And this is one of the, um, I think Monster High or something like that. It's like a little choker kind of necklace and it kind of comes down into a belt-ish. So kind of got that action going on. And look at these shoes, these red shoes, and they look fantastic as well. And she actually has on the little like uh, apron skirt. I don't know what you call it. It's like a dress. It's like a see-through little apron type overall-ish dress or whatever that belongs to Neonlicious. I think Anything that fits Neonlicious really fits her really well in terms of the coloring because their, their color scheme is very similar. So that is Dazzle. 
Now this is Uptown Girl and you probably don't recognize her either because of all the different things that I did with her. I swapped her hands out with one of the other OMG dolls that actually uh, can wear a ring because I wanted her to be able to wear a ring. So she's got that going on. And this is a Boxy Girls like headset, not headset, um, ear, um, earphones or whatever. And I blinged it out a little bit and put the little bling, bling, bling at the top. I also gave her a bling necklace. I used um, eyelash glue to glue the necklace to her because it actually is just part of uh, something that you would use to kind of bling clothes or whatever so that's what I wanted to do so she's got that necklace on and this of course is a top like a bodysuit that I got from one of the lots that I got on eBay and a creatable world skirt which I think looks cute on her and the boots that she has on are actually Snowlicious boots um, but I think that creates a cute little look for her and it looks kind of nice I like it so you guys let me know what you think about this look so this right here is alt girl and she had um, her regular look she had like a grunge kind of look to her I changed it up a little bit made her look a little more fierce she's got this little jacket that I got in one of my lots um, of clothing that I purchased she's got on one of my royal bees um, body suits on and these pants are actually from the Puma collection for uh, the Barbie I have two of the uh, 50th edition Barbies that are Puma and they have these like leggings now these leggings are the, the are too big for her so I kind of bunched it up a little bit this almost looks like she's got on some kind of like boots or something but anyway and then I gave her these shoes um, to complete the outfit she's got the headphones on so so cute so that is the look for alt girl so last but not least we've got snowlicious and I think she looks great her hair over here is like in the braid still but this one I kind of have it like a loose kind of body wavy type thing I love this little dress I got it on eBay um, and I think it looks really cute fits her to a T um, it looks great and then I gave her these boots again some monster high boots that I got or monster ever high the only thing I will tell you about when you purchase the the dolls uh, clothes and accessories online you may get some random things in there that don't fit because I think the people who are selling them sometimes they haven't owned these dolls so sometimes I get things that are way too big or whatever but it's a little hit or miss but overall I think I've been pretty pleased because I have so many different things and looks and stuff that I can create so this right here guys is snowlicious so guys, those are the 12 looks that I wanted to show you and hopefully you enjoyed the video and you liked them. You guys let me know out of all the looks which one was your favorite. Um, I guess if I, if I have to pick one that is my favorite, hmm, um, it's really, really hard to pick, but I guess if I'm going to ask you to pick one, I need to pick one. I think I'm gonna pick angles and I'm gonna say this was my favorite look and the reason why it's my favorite look is angles is really hard to style with all the different colors and her hair so if you haven't seen her hair this is what her hair looks like and even if she doesn't have on the beret I think this outfit looks totally fantastic on her so I have to say that this is my favorite look but you guys let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and do me a favor share this video with your friends and also um, other you know doll collectors and uh, hopefully they can come here and join the instant ride play family follow me on Instagram where I do all kinds of things with my dolls and I look forward to seeing you guys there so that's all we had today on instant ride play but before we go I just wanted to say even if you have a hard day we hope you find some time to play and we'll see you next time on instant ride play that's what it's all about